Yeah, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from Weartesters.com and today we got a quick detailed look and review of this right here. This, this is from Adidas, so big thank you to Adidas Hoops. And this is what they're calling the Adidas Pro Bounce. Supposedly these guys right here are replacing the crazy explosive line. Now I don't know if that's 100% accurate or not. That's just what we've been hearing. I do think that would be unfortunate if true just because I do like like the original um I don't want to rip this. There it goes anyways. But I do like the original uh, Crazy Explosive. I'm not a huge fan of the 2017 version. However, I, I'm not opposed to um, to Bounce. Bounce is awesome. I know that a lot of people give Adidas crap because they use Bounce in certain models. Most notably the D-Rose 9. Performance review on that is coming soon. Yeah, you know. I smell like spray paint. I like spray paint. But uh, these are basically like a brand new shoe for them and I think that's kind of interesting. Is that supposed to be broken? No, it's just broken. That sucks. So whether or not these do replace the explosive line, I mean, I'm gonna be a little bummed, but not crazy bummed just because, again, I really like bounce and bounce cushioning is all over these guys right here. For those of you guys that are into like shoe weight and things like that for performance, bounce is a lot lighter than than boost because boost, they have to, you know, do things to it. They gotta surround it with something or they put gotta put it in something. So, you know, boost is usually a little bit heavier. And these guys in hand right now are like uber lightweight, which is kind of crazy. They feel lighter than like the Dames and stuff. Maybe not the Dame 4s, but at least the Dame 3s for sure. So it says right here on this broken, you know, plastic thing. Introducing the Pro Bounce, built for basketball's next wave. The generation of athletes changing the game. Are you the next wave Pro Bounce? It's got a bounce midsole, forged mesh. So that stuff we have seen on the 2017 version of the Crazy Explosive. What they're calling a propulsion plate, which looks like it's this piece here and this piece here. A couple of TPU panels. They probably go into the midsole area right there there's a couple of holes inside the outsole so that's probably what that is essentially it's a spring plate and then there is this kind of compression molded collar right here which feels interesting I like the way that these things typically feel if you are familiar with the Dame 4 it's kind of like that collar area so it should give you mobility especially right here on the internal medial side but then a lot of structure on the lateral side so it's kind of like giving you mobility where you need it and support and structure where you need it retail on these guys I believe is 120 all the information is over at weartesters.com so if you're not a reader, you should be because that's where all the info is at. And this also has a little drawer right here. You guys probably can't see it, but it's got this in there. So there's some goodies, not some goodies. There's a goodie and it's a dry fit shirt right here. I think that's pretty sick. I'll probably wear this when I'm playing. Now I do want to try these on real quick just to see how they fit. Oh, that's interesting. The laces actually go through the little uh, tongue tab right there, which is kind of, I don't know if that's cool or not, but it's just neat. The laces are also like, not the laces itself, but the eyelets are like little nylon strands almost fly wire ish so in a sense I think this might be the replacement for the explosive which again it's kind of a bummer but I'm not too bummed because I love I love bounce I think bounce is super underrated so if you have not tried Adidas's bounce cushioning do so go to one of their outlets grab something that has bounce in it for like a good price just to you know kind of start you off and get you kind of acquainted with the tech so trying them on I'd say you could go down half a size. There's a little bit more room in the toe area than what I'd normally like. So if you like your toes to hit, you know, like right at the edge there, definitely go down half a size. Otherwise, staying true to size should be your best bet. And Bounce is hella comfortable, man. I, I'm telling you guys. Bounce is a very, very, very underrated cushion. But that's pretty much it. These actually, the, the tech specs were on the box, so it like broke down everything for me. The traction looks interesting. Spirals are definitely a good source of traction. It's got multi-directional coverage and all that kind of good stuff. So hopefully it actually pans out well. Again, the bounce midsole feels good. Spring plate is there. That forged mesh doesn't feel like premium or anything like that. It feels feels very similar to what was on the toe of the Harden 2. Actually, I said that it was closer to the to the crazy explosive 2017, but those were actually forged prime knit. So this is forged mesh. So again, like a, a slightly lesser like kind of version. So more affordable. And that pretty much takes care of it. Just a quick look at these. I will get these tested and reviewed as soon as I can. I'm backed up with stuff right now. So so bear with me. Let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. Are you interested in trying these out for yourself? They are available now at select retailers. Purchase links will be down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support. Again, thank you to Adidas for sending these over. I was actually surprised. I haven't gotten anything from them in a, a really long time. So thank you guys once again. And until next time, guys, have a good one.